Hi everybody. We are back with our chameleon project. And what you're going to need is your cutout chameleon, the grass that you have cut out, all the different long triangular shapes for that. And if you have a piece of black construction paper, that is a nice way to display your chameleon. Or you can create um, small repetitive pattern on a white piece of paper and use that instead um, if you don't have a black. So since you see an example with the black there um, in the canvas assignment, I'm going to go ahead and use this alternate piece just for fun to show that sometimes you got to go with what you have. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to glue our chameleon into the center of our um, background page. We're going to add glue around the edge of our shape with our glue stick. And um, we want to get it close to the edge because that will enable our pieces not to curl up on us. Okay, and you're going to kind of center it and look at your space and see do you have an equal kind of amount of space all the way around as much as possible. When you're happy with it, then hold it in the middle and rub from the middle out to prevent wrinkles. And then I tell my students to have big basketball hands like you would grab a basketball with like this and just kind of press and hold and count to 10. Press and hold and count to 10 until you've kind of covered the whole thing. Just to double check. Okay. Then we're going to start on the grass. And so what you can do is the basic concept, first of all, is that we will put glue here on the piece and then we're going to tuck it behind our page and glue it down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we're going to fold it over to the front. So it's kind of loose and it creates a little bit of dimension for us. You could glue it down in the front if you would like, but I kind of like how it pops out there. So then you're just going to kind of space these out. The ones that I have are different, um, different lengths, so just kind of making it look like he's peeking through the leaves in the jungle. You're going to keep on putting glue at the end and then I may angle this up this way just a little bit for fun. Um, I don't know. Let's see. I might use my scissors to trim this guy so it's a little bit shorter. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Fold it over. Let's take a look. All right, so a little bit of variety. I'll go longer, I'll go shorter, um, because you know you just can't predict the plants in the jungle. Nobody comes along and gardens them. No one comes along and um, mows the grass in the jungle. So you just never know. It's just a wild and crazy place. Okay, so I'm gonna just keep working my way around the picture frame here. I'm probably going to make some at the top a little bit shorter so we don't cover our chameleon completely and he can his eye can peek through. But you are the artist so you can trim up your pieces however you need to. You can make new pieces um, what, however they you want them to fit around your chameleon. I can't wait to see how these turn out. Hope you enjoyed making your jungle chameleon.